Welcome back to Saturated in Love VIP Tarot, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. I'm here for Taurus on this Taurus full moon. How exciting, my goodness. It is 11 11. It is in the 11 o'clock hour. In the nighttime, full moon is looking hella sexy. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it where you are in the world. But I hope you did catch a glimpse of the Taurus full moon as it was beautiful. It was like yellow, a, a beautiful yellow, a golden hue surrounding the moon. I remarked to my husband how amazing it looked. He also caught depth of the glorification of beauty that was the moon. And so, dear Taurus, let's get your message. The moon. <laughs> Okay, so dear Taurus, I'm sorry if I didn't introduce myself. I'm Melissa. VIPs, welcome back. Thanks for returning. If you're new here, please click subscribe so you don't miss a video. Holy Spirit is always in my spreads. I am an Aries sun and Aries rising, okay? So I, I do my readings pretty quickly. They're about 10 to 15 minutes each week, okay, for your sign. Um, I'm blunt, um, almost too blunt. I also let like natural-ish happen around me, like my son, you know, popping Legos in the video or like screaming for me or whatever. It just, you know, I'm just me. So welcome again. The moon is here for you on your full moon night. Oh dear Taurus. <laughs> So what is going to be revealed in your world? Definitely the whole collective feeling the energies of the full moon and what it means to them. But dear Taurus, it will mean that for you tenfold or to anyone with Taurus placements in their chart. For instance, my moon is in Taurus. How lovely. So I am also basking in this change. For me, it has to do with like decision making monetarily, you know, like I have this looming feeling that it's definitely... um basically this Taurus full moon is affecting my second house because my son is in Aries and so it is my house of finances and I do like I just did a spread for myself before I started your video dear Taurus and I saw like you know finance stuff happening and you know I just want to tell everyone this moon is going to bring whatever you've been like whatever you've been cultivating it's gonna just like make it be you know and like without a rough energy or or um, it won't be so topsy-turvy or like, you know, stressful. It'll be peaceful, a calm. It'll just present itself. It'll just be. So welcome to the new phase, dear Taurus. What helps or hinders this notion? Yep, seven of swords. You're like taking what's yours. You're walking away with and you're communicating that you have now this. You know, you, you're you done waiting. So it has arrived for you. Whatever you were waiting for is here for you, dear Taurus. Unconscious factors. Five of wands. So you were arguing with a group of people recently or conflicted rather. Fighting could be um, family, colleagues, friends, a group could be business partners. Um, dear Taurus, there was conflict with a group, okay, unconsciously, and that's what's driving you to the point of getting the full potential uh, forward, okay? This full moon is bringing out the full potential of you, okay? It's in your sign. You won't be fighting these, these energies anymore. Whoever was going against your will, against your um, idea, against your desire, against, you know, like, it's not happening anymore. It won't be possible for them, dear Taurus. In your recent past, Six of Pentacles, you had enough to give. You were a, a mentor, a guru, a, a sponsor of sorts, okay? You're, you had enough success to share. So, again, this group could be unconsciously, again, business partner, someone you're dealing with in that sense, Whereas it's a group of people, but you're now ready to take what's yours out of the situation and let them like fight amongst themselves. Dear Taurus has left the building, essentially, to the BS, okay? You're walking away from the BS and onto your newfound, um, what is it? The word is destiny. Yes, you are arriving to your destiny and what is destined to be shall be. What looms above this situation 
don't you see my god the two of wands yes i'm telling you you're walking to your new destiny dear taurus i'm not just talking you know the cards just like reinforce what i say holy spirit is delivering this message I'm going to go to the Lover's Tower for you non-believers. Two of Wands, baby, baby. An inspiring friendship encourages your own creativity and sparks off brilliant ideas and humorous moments. You may connect through work or shared interests. This friendship may or may not lead to romance, but it will warm your heart. The Two of Wands can also represent a dynamic, successful man or woman. Its position in your spread should make this clear. And clearly, I've been stating, dear Taurus, that you are just taking what's yours. You're walking away from conflict, a conflicting group, people who didn't have your um who uh, people whose interests didn't serve your own okay so you are a person who is good enough on his own you can tend to others you can give them ideas and you know a lot of people were kind of spawning from your ideas anyway if this is group if this is um has to do with work or or, or school like a project um with this group of people like you don't need them essentially they were mooching off of your ideas and and you know getting cloud off of you it's your hard work dear taurus that you've been putting in and that has been succeeding the team so alas you start afresh you start anew you walk away you have your own two and you're peace in you're piecing onwards moving towards that destiny i discussed in your near future oh in your new future heartbreak could loom for some in the collective how you view yourself as cutting your losses though so for those who this resonates if there is a period of terminal the terminal if there is a period of turmoil dear taurus with a relationship in a pairing don't you fret because this is how you view yourself you know that you are ready to cut losses and yes with the twos here you are definitely somebody who's in the decision making process you know it's like a or b you have these two two ways about you okay you're walking away from a group again who was full of conflict you're taking what was yours and moving on for those of you experiencing some type of heartbreak in a relationship you are cutting those people out of your life two of swords so you are releasing someone and how others view you communication eight eight of wands swift communication passionate communication so yeah you're not having it anymore not with this group of people that wasn't uh rocking with your ideas or or that was trying to um take over like more than they should have you know like people try to take rain in your affairs too much dear taurus no bueno so basically you're like cutting ties with the extras you know this full moon is purging all the extras it's all going to be eliminated it is a time to release for those of you who have the question for full moon to release or reset it's release it's time to let go of the the, the freaking toxicity okay be it the third party situation be it a heartbreak it's time to let go of this person who broke your heart okay um moving forward your hope or your fear dear taurus the emperor beautiful emperor energies you just want to rule okay you want to feel whole again so whole that you are ruling your own kingdom again eliminating these folks whoever these guys are you know who they are whoever these guys are you're eliminating them okay plural and you're wanting to boss up king up and be good on your own because you are power you are powerful this is aries energy here and at times um yeah it's it's it just it resembles the hierophant card okay so it reminded me of the hierophant card which is your own card dear taurus but with the emperor here again your hope just to rule just to rule to be satisfied um to arrive to your destiny and guess what the full moon has done that for you already so congratulations my friend final outcome for dear taurus Yep, Knight of Wands, passionately moving forward on a horse, clothed in yellow. You have hope again. You're inspired. You're going to succeed, okay, on your own. There's nobody else in this photo but you. You, the Knight, are bringing the new, the new effervescent, you know, uh, 
what? Why am I at a loss for words? Because I'm super tired, but dear Taurus, you're bringing home the glory, okay? You are bringing you by yourself, okay? You're, you've arrived. As I mentioned, this full moon is letting you release these folks with these wands, the five, and you become the knight. See, you fought them, you won, and you've moved on. You got on your horse and you peaced out. I've, I've been saying that all night. <laughs> Oh, dear Taurus, how lovely. Let's get Queen of the Moon oracles going. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the message. Any Taurians out there interested in a private reading, information is in the description box below. Queen of the Moon oracle, any advice for dear Taurus? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Queen of the Moon oracle for dear Taurus. And I'll just take this because it's staring at me. Oh my gosh. Release. Come on. You guys. Did I not verbatim say, please like fast forward two minutes? Um, release. It's all about release. I said this Taurus full moon is about release. For those wanting to know if it's reset or release, it's release. And so dear Taurus, Holy Spirit, is letting you know clear as day this full moon is here tap into it release the past release the people release the conflict and move forward night move forward passionately towards your dreams goals you are destined to be here you have arrived congratulations dear taurus enjoy your full moon again if you like a private reading information in the description box below do hit me up i love you all Peace.